Dear God, on this 63rd day of this awesome abstinence recommitment journey, I just want to thank you for the strength I find in me to seek for support all the time or as much as possible. You know I live with post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety and I sometimes get so overwhelmed by life and I get triggered by different things. But at least your word reassures me, and so I study it every day. I really reach out for support. You know, I first go into your word. I come to you. I cry sometimes, but I don't just stay silent. I mean, I know all what you've put on me to do, the association, hope for the abuse and the battered, how much strength I have to have. But for myself, I also need a lot of strength and with my mental and emotional health. And I cannot have you heal what I cannot reveal, you know. And I do that. I ask people for help, like with my children. Those are literally their parents. I ask people to help me prepare for the meeting I hosted on Saturday. I mean, I had to deal with all of this anxiety for two weeks. And I was very vocal about all of that because when we suffer in silence, then how can we have help? I asked my sister to really help me and she brought her friend. I asked my son to help me with the chairs and the logistics and he did and I was just so grateful, you know, and he got his brothers involved and they did all of that, you know, the packing in and the packing out. I was just so grateful, you know, because just doing only the shopping for like four or five days, it really left me really depleted and I had to really tap really really deep into me to find all of that strength and you know in the meantime I was also working I went to court and all of that and I also work as a psychotherapist I offer support to other people so it's very important for me to have my own sources of support and because I want to honor you and you for my life and be so grateful I can't do anything you know that's rash because I am not afraid. I, I'm, I'm so full of love for myself and for you and so grateful for my life. So whenever I feel any imbalance, I have to quickly come back to you. I have to reach out for support. I have this wonderful support system and my mother is so vital in this support system. My parents, everybody. So I come to you when I'm weary and burdened because I know you will give me rest. And I really wish that this be possible for so many people. And so I'm grateful to be hosting Bishop Berry today so that we can really talk about um, the place of faith, you know, and domestic violence and mental health. All glory to you, Papa.